And if you need more proof that the flu is really the bigger issue in Indiana right now, look no further than the Central Indiana School District. Leaders at Eastern Hancock Schools are canceling classes tomorrow because of so many students and staff who caught the flu. Here's our Karen Campbell with more on that story. School leaders say out of an abundance of caution, they are canceling classes Wednesday because they want to deep clean everything in all three schools. Eastern Hancock schools in Charlottesville won't be bustling Wednesday with students or staff. I think it's a good idea because we had a lot of people out lately and a lot of teachers too. Junior Emma Weiss, along with nearly 1,200 other students in the district, will be learning from home after the flu spread throughout the elementary, middle, and high school. They started after school and they've just been bleaching everything. The biggest concern? At the high school, where the absent rate Tuesday reached 25 percent. That's about 100 people. In an email to Eyewitness News, Superintendent David Poff said, quote, I cannot recall having an illness-based sickness rate that high in my 41 years. The illnesses range from bronchitis, strep throat, influenza A, and influenza B. Parents like Brian Weiss say because it's flu season, closing schools wasn't a surprise. I'm actually glad they're being proactive and trying to stay ahead of things rather than just waiting around to see if it gets worse. Teachers giving constant reminders to students. There have been like a lot of more hand sanitizers around and Kleenex and teachers have been like wash your hands you know all the time. I think it has to do with what's been on the news a lot lately with uh, coronavirus and whatnot. I, I was glad to hear that that wasn't something that had made its way here. Cleaning crews already began disinfecting parts of the elementary, middle and high school. And all activities scheduled for Wednesday, like those after-school activities, those have been canceled. In Hancock County, I'm Karen Campbell, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.